Have you ever seen iron? There's 99% chance that you haven't unless you're a scientist or work in a material industry. There's very high chance that the material you're assuming to be iron is not iron but steel. Steel and iron are very closely related to each other. There are 118 elements in a periodic table. Iron is one of them. It has 26 electrons and 26 protons in its atom. While iron is one of the most abundant elements found on earth, it's rarely found in its purest form. It's very reactive. Iron is commonly found in ores such as hematite, magnetite, and siderite. These ores are treated in blast furnace to obtain different forms of iron like pig iron, wrought iron, and cast iron. Wrought iron is the purest form that we can obtain of iron. Even that is not 100% pure. It has 99.92% of iron content, while 0.08% is still carbon. On the other hand, steel is an alloy of iron and carbon, with the carbon content ranging from 0.2% to 2.1%. Steel are basically two types, carbon steel and alloy steel. Depending on the amount of carbon, carbon steel are divided into three parts, low carbon steel, medium carbon steel, and high carbon steel. On the other hand, alloy steel takes carbon steel to the next level by adding additional alloying elements. Steel production involves melting iron along with carbon and other alloying elements such as sulfur, titanium, vanadium, tungsten, and many more. These elements enhance specific properties of steel such as corrosion resistance, toughness, and heat resistance. Stainless steel is an excellent example of alloy steel. 